after I um, got off eHarmony forever, um, I decided, you know what, maybe Christian Cafe would be better. So I tried um, dating from Christian Cafe and um, one of the um, guys I was corresponding with was a professor at Columbia and I was really excited to meet him and he sounded awesome on paper. He did all these charity things and, you know, his picture wasn't 100% clear, but he, it's, it wasn't bad. I was like, that's not bad, you know, give everybody a shot. So um, we decided we we're going to meet for dinner downtown and I had um, seminars all day, so I was, I was pretty hungry and I was really looking forward to dinner. And it was winter time, so it was kind of really cold out. So I parked my car and I had a little bit of a walk to um, the restaurant. So when I got there, my eyes were a little watery because it was so cold. So it took me a, a couple of seconds to focus, you know, trying to figure out where he was in the restaurant. And then I saw him sitting there and I could tell that it was um, going to be an interesting day because he was significantly shorter than I thought he would be, and older also. And um, kind of like, he looked like he had um, dyed his hair and um, had some other work done. So then we, we went and sat down for dinner, and then he tells me that he's not really hungry, which was weird, because we had specifically talked about dinner, and, and I really was hungry at this point. I had, you know, was waiting for this. And uh, we uh, had our waiter come by, and the waiter asked us, you know, what we would like to drink. And so, uh, you know, I ordered some wine, and then he said, um, I'm only going to have to have white beverages, and so I'll have a white wine because I just had my teeth done. And so he's like, See? He showed me, he showed me his teeth. <laughs> and so I was like, This guy is starting to creep me out more and more. But, you know, I mean, you're there, and this is the moment where I realized that in every date, I absolutely have to have an exit strategy because I didn't have any call from anybody saying there's an emergency, you gotta go. <laughs> Nobody to save me. And I was actually looking around the restaurant thinking to myself, how do I get out of here? But um, you know, then he tells me, you know, we should split the check. It was awesome. Um, so I was like, okay. So we ate and then um, the conversation was kind of weird and I mean, pretty much everything that he had said in his profile um, when I asked him about it ended up not being true in one way or another just weird conversations and then so uh, he it was kind of a strange thing and I said well you know what um, I'm gonna have to go to the restroom if that's okay you know I'll be right back and so I go to the restroom and then as I'm coming out he's like right there <laughs> looking at me and he's like do you want to do something else now do you want to go some other place I'm so, so freaked out. I was like, oh my God, no, I have other plans. But then I, I was kind of nervous that he was he gonna like stalk me to my vehicle, you know? So I guess I just learned from that, like you always have to have a backup plan, like have somebody check in on you if you're meeting somebody for the first time and then always have some some kind of plan for getting into your vehicle after the date is over if you think they might be following you or something. So I think I took a couple of showers when I got home from, from that day. It was just Gross. Um, to this day, that is one of my absolute worst dates on record ever <laughs> that I had to sit through. Was that the last online site that you did? I want to say yes, but no. <laughs>